Right, welcome back. We've come a long way, right? We understood the basics of Helm charts and Helm directory. Before you get into the advanced level, it's very important to understand what is a values.yaml file? Why do you use a chart.yaml file? What's the relevance of notes.txt? When would you use it? Also, what is helpers.template, which you want to use to templatize your named template and you can reuse it again and again. So idea was to make you understand how the structure works and then we can take baby steps to move a little forward and start actually visualizing stuff which you want to deploy into your actual Kubernetes cluster. In this session, I'm going to take you through how you could deploy pods, an Nginx pod onto a Kubernetes cluster using Helm deployment. Uh, we're going to be structurizing it. It's pretty similar way what you would do in a production environment. Uh, I'm doing it for pods. You could do it for deployment services. Could be anything, right? Before getting started, you might see a difference in the visual representation, right? You see the Helm uh, charts icon over here. You also see that there are some syntax highlighting. How did it come? If you're using IntelliJ, go to the preference install a plugin called Kubernetes and that's going to give you all these goodness features. So I've installed this. Um, in case you're using IntelliJ, you could use it. If not, if you're using Visual Studio Code, then you could use the, some other plugins also, whatever is relevant. So what I want to do, I want to deploy a pod. I want to deploy a Nginx pod and I want to do it using Helm. Let's get started. So I'm going to first thing first, this is purely a Kubernetes thing, so nothing Helm yet. Kind would be pod, and the autocompletion is there, making my life a little easier. Name of my pod, which is going to be Nginx Helm pod, probably Helm pod. All right. Then what? Then I want spec. In spec, under the container, I want to have container name, which is Nginx container. Perfect. And then image. I want to use Nginx image, Nginx, Nginx 1.16 version. All right, I want to use this one. This is fine, but this is very hard coded, right? This is not a generalized template which you want to use with Helm. How do you generalize it? How do you uh, kind of variableize it? I'm going to open my values dot file. I'm going to open it right, split it right so that I can see both of them simultaneously. So I'm going to, I'm going to variableize this one. I'm going to remove the pod from here and probably define kind over here, pod right over here. How do you variableize it? Same open braces and close braces dot values dot kind would be auto populated coming right from the values file select this this is good and then nginx container or pod name so this is gonna be pod name all right this is the pod name and then you have dot values dot pod name populating right over here same gonna be for container name also so that's going to be container name and you know how to pass it right dot values dot container name perfect and same goes for image also image this one and then open braces values dot image right this is very generic now right this can be used for any project any environment, any client. All you care about is now values. Come to values.yaml and start editing based on your customer, based on your environment, based on your requirement. All right, so let's start deploying it. Helm list, got nothing in it. First thing first, do the Helm lint first to verify that everything is right. Um, only the info rest, everything is right. Next thing what I'm gonna do is, um, the actual values are not populating, right? So if you were to visualize what is the actual value, what you could do is Helm install, give the name of your chart dot, use the dry run command. You remember the dry run command, right? That's gonna give you how your template's gonna look like. So this is your pod.yaml. If you rem 
if you look at over here, it is actually rendering all the value picked up from the values dot yaml, and it's not giving you dot values unlike you have defined over here. Once you're happy with the configuration, if you do a kubectl get pod, I haven't got any pod at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this helm install nginx dot and there you go. You got your uh, helm deployment done. Now if you do a kubectl get ns, you would have um, the first namespace created seven seconds ago. If you do a kubectl get pods, you would have the image. Okay, we have an error image pull error. So let's try to fix this one. I am, there's a typo, I should have a colon over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uninstall, uninstall Nginx and that's about it. And I'm gonna reinstall it again and this time it should be um, successful. Now if you do a kubectl get pod, I should not have the error image pull. Now it is trying to create the container. Once it is uh, done with creating the container, it should be in the running state. If you do a helm list, I have the name of my chart, which I passed while deploying it. Revision, deployed state is deployed and chart is helm deployment hyphen 0 0.1.0. If you go to the charts, the name and then hyphen version. Once you make changes, you can start uh, changing this one as well. All right, now if I do a kubectl get pods, I should have it in running state. Uh, now if I just do a kubectl describe pod and name of the pod, it should say that it is automatically able to do all the operations successful. How do we access it? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a port forward. All right, so kubectl get pod, that's the name of my pod. How do I port forward? kubectl port, forward so that I can open in my browser to test this as well. Name of my pod, which is this one. And then port number, which is 8080 colon 80. And if I do an enter, and if I start opening a browser, now if I do a local host 8080, it should give me an Nginx container, Nginx landing page. Now, if you go to your, uh, and you see the logs are coming right over here, handling connection for this one. If you try to hit it again, um, it should give you another log, right? All right, that's about it. I hope this was informative. This is how you would actually templatize your pod. In the next session, we're gonna proceed a little more forward and uh, try to add config maps also. We haven't got any config map, map, try to map it with the uh, pod section and see how it kind of behaves. I hope this was informative. Thank you.